morning everybody and welcome back to a new vlog today is currently monday and it's a very busy day it's a very stormy day here in florida lots of thunder it's cozy looking but no rain yet we've had like a little drizzle here and there weed whackers in the background a day <laughs> where we need to get stuff done i've just kind of like got out of the shower and threw my hair up i don't I, I don't know what's happening with it i'm not really thrilled with it but we have work to do so we're just going with it so, basically, I have Larry sitting over here, so if you're wondering who I'm looking at. Hi! <laughs> All right, so the plan is we're dressed, coffee, had breakfast. We need to do grocery shopping, so I need to make a list. That's number one on the list. Number two is we might run off to the bookstore really quick. Actually, that would be number one because that's the furthest away. So, bookstore. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> We need to make a list. That's number one on the list. <laughs> number one on his list is make the list. Um, I can't even hold this camera out here. It is killing my arm. Oh my goodness. Weakling. I'm setting you guys down. Then we'll talk. Number one is make the grocery list. <laughs> number two is running to the bookstore. A lot of you guys have asked me, and if you don't know, the author, I think it's Stephanie Myers. I don't want to... Can you look up who's the author of Twilight? I'm pretty sure it's Stephanie Myers. She came out with a new book that is supposed to be around when Edward, uh, like his earlier life. So we learn all about Edward and what he went through before Bella and everything else like that. And a lot of you guys have asked me if I've read it, if I got it, and I'm slacking. I didn't pre-order it. I didn't get it. And I need to go get it. So it was Stephanie Myers. Eh! Okay, awesome. So I want to pick up that. Plus, I want to take a look around, and I'm sure Larry wants to glance around the bookstore. We haven't been to the bookstore since everything happened in the world. <laughs> oh, that light makes it look much more cozy. This hairstyle is a little too slick for me. Ooh, my hair's damp, that's why. Um, I am getting, wow, off track. There's so much to say in this video that I'm bouncing all over the place. So I wanted to check out and see if they have that book there. And then we also want to look at puzzles. Larry and I are really getting back into puzzles and I love it. And it's cozy and it's nice. So we want to see if they have any Halloween ones out. If they don't, I'm probably going to order one off of Amazon that we found. And then we need to run to the grocery store. Get the groceries, we'll do the haul. Then... Larry and I have a huge task ahead of us. I We started working on the master bedroom closet yesterday. And when I mean working on, I mean taking everything out of it, which I'll explain in a minute. And Larry has the big task of the garage. He has to get some stuff moved around in there because you guys are probably wondering why. Tomorrow on Tuesday, we'll be getting our brand new air conditioning unit. Not just, you know, a come in and fix cosmetic thing. A entire we need an entire new system unit so with that being said they are gonna be here all day tomorrow and we have to have everything out of our bedroom closet because that's the way for entrance into the attic to fix the ducts and do everything that they have to do right yeah. through the attic and then there's another spot through the garage the air conditioning there's two like a secondary thing is what they're called so you have the one outside which is the big pad which you see on the outside of people's houses and then there's another one usually inside somewhere Ours happens to be in the garage. So moral of the story, many of you have been asking if we finally got it fixed and we are finally getting it fixed. Won't you, be 88 degrees in the house anymore. Yeah, so it's gonna be very busy, very hectic. We're getting a late start, it's already noon and- uh, we've been working on it before. Yeah, we have been doing some stuff, but I did that thing where I took NyQuil last night because I don't know if you guys saw, like I'm on a new nose spray, so I don't, I am worse, congested worse after taking that nose spray, using it by the doctor that he recommended, the ENT. I am more congested now than I was before that nose spray. So I don't know if it's one of those things where it's got to get worse before it gets better. And my throat is very sore, so I think things are draining. So I took NyQuil last night. So I woke up basically feeling hungover <laughs> and tired and my eyes were poofy. And I had espresso this morning, which is probably why I'm talking 900 miles per hour. So I feel balanced now. I'm, I'm, I'm hungover with caffeine, so I, I'm fine now, but not really hungover. Um, and then there was one other thing I wanted to update you guys on. So I'm going through like a, a little bit of a skin change that quickly from coming off of that medication from the oral tablet 
and from the topical. So I am already very oily again, but irritated and dry. And I've got quite a pimple here, which I have covered up. So my skin is changing and I've been off of it for about a week, week and a half. I think it's about a week and a half, two weeks. So anyways, with that being said, let's make our list and get going. All right, babe, what do you need from the store? Mm, hot dogs, ice cream, water. That's it? Yeah. What dinners do you want for the next week or two? Like coming up behind you. Hi, baby. like Ohio, like Pothole City. Doo -doo -doo. We've arrived. So the new book is called Midnight Sun, which I don't see here. I'm hoping they have it in the back somewhere and it's not sold out. So they are completely sold out of Midnight Sun. So, but what she did say we could do is um, at the front, I can order one and have it shipped to the house. So that is what I'm gonna do because they don't know when they're gonna be back in stock. Oh my God, oh my God. That's not a very secure globe. Oh my, she even just had a miniature heart attack. sweet lady at the bookstore just came up to me. Look! They found one, the very last one in the store. Ah! I'm so excited! Thank you! absolutely love these and I thought it would be a nice place or a spot to put it in the living room next to the TV but they're $79.99 <laughs> I really don't want to spend that but I do love it <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so we're back in the car. I did some filming on my phone, which you guys saw. And there was a spirit Halloween in here. Ooh, scary! And we just saw people walk in, so we know it's open. So we're going to check that out as well. And uh, just take a peek around. I don't even know if we're doing Halloween this year or trick-or-treating, but we're at least going to celebrate. But, ooh, thank you. Blah, blah, blah. So, let's head over to Spirit Halloween, see what cool decorations they have. Look at all the seagulls lined up on the top of the building. Yeah. They're all, like, just peeking. Today is perfect. Sure. Isn't it, though? It's 80 degrees in Florida. That doesn't happen ever, especially in August. It feels so nice to walk outside. And we're gonna show you guys the seagulls. All right, here we go. Look at them all. <laughs> They're just, I think they are truly enjoying this weather as well. There's only two on Books A Million. <laughs> We're here, Spirit Halloween. Oh my. <gasps> that already scared me. It's your song, the pontoon. Okay, I love these. They remind me of Downton Abbey. Flappers, babe, Lady Rose, Downton Abbey, or Lady Mary. I love that. That is pretty. You know who that is? It, yeah, Pennywise. Oh my gosh. I told you to stay away. That is so creepy. Oh my. Oh my goodness. That's 25 bucks? Yeah. Oogie Boogie? Yeah. Does it feel like it should be worth 25 bucks? <laughs> kind of expensive, isn't it? Yeah? True. Poor Larry. All right. I was gonna get that for you and it fell right in. We're back in from the Spirit Halloween store. Woo, scary, woo. Uh, and the benefit of us going so early was that they had stuff, a lot of stuff, and we were very excited. I did notice they had a much bigger display of Hocus Pocus, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and they're getting like lots of Beetlejuice stuff. So those are all of my favorite things. And they, they, they have it all. I'm very excited. Spoiler, kind of, but not really. Larry and I, pretty much got our costumes. Yes, we did. So, but I'm Complete. not, I'm not going to share them. Nope. 
that will be revealed on Halloween, which regardless, even if trick-or-treating is canceled and all of that, we're still going to have Halloween at our house. We'll decorate. We'll do all the fun vibes and we'll make it fun some way, somehow, but we're all set now. Halloween 2020 is sorted. Where's my key? Oh, well, that's I right. I forgot. We're using yours because I forgot my keys. Hi. <laughs> so we are back from the grocery store. I'm going to show you what we got. Of course, we do have a mix of healthy and we have a mix of Larry. <laughs> that's right. I'm just kidding. There are some things that aren't so healthy that I picked out as well. So I'm going to share everything that we got at Publix. For starters, these wraps are my favorite. You guys have probably seen them if you've watched the grocery hauls before, but these are the Low Carb by La Tortilla Factory. They're whole wheat, non-GMO, no artificial sweeteners, no bad fats, and they are very low carb, and there's something else about them that's really exciting. But anyways, they're good. So what I use these for is pizzas, like when I wanna have cheat days when I am eating healthy, or you could just have them as a wrap. This is going into the not as healthy, but I was craving it the other day. And that seeded rye bread with like scrambled eggs or over easy bread eggs is my favorite. And I didn't have this bread. I thought about it. So I got it at the store. This is going to be my lunch today. And it's a California roll. A big container of organic spinach for my smoothies. And these were buy one, get one, I believe. Um, we got the original and I picked out the blueberry. And the reason I got these, and I usually haven't been getting them, is because my dad gave us like a ton of cream cheese. He had extra, and I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for. So I thought for a quick snack or breakfast, that would be good. Larry's ice cream, chocolate, and mint chocolate chip, which now can definitely go in the freezer. Uh, tortilla chips. Buffalo chicken dip. I treated myself one of my favorites. These are also really good with celery sticks instead of the chips if you're doing low carb. Classic hummus, which is tasty to dip vegetables in or crackers, but I'll be dipping celery sticks in it. Bananas, red onion, medium salsa. We have cherry tomatoes, strawberries. The blackberries were 99 cents each, which is crazy, which makes me think I need to eat them all in one day, basically, because I'm afraid they're going to go bad because you never find berries for 99 cents. <sighs> they almost fell over. Then I did indulge in creamer, very naughty, and this is the sugar-free vanilla. And then I also got the peppermint mocha, which is very early for me to get this, but they didn't have pumpkin spice. So I grabbed this one instead. Then Larry picked out these chocolate cream filled cakes. We got lunch meat from the deli. This is ham and then turkey. Ham is Larry's favorite, turkey is my favorite. Larry got his favorite drinks, the peach propel, the grape propel. Larry's must have bun length natural selects Angus beef hot dogs which they are the same but they have changed the packaging so Larry got those and then we got a lean ground beef sausages bacon and popcorn chicken now it is time to put it all away then we can eat lunch <laughs> yay what are you gonna have for lunch babe <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. What are you gonna have? You have a sandwich? Yeah. All right. Okay, this will be for my lunch. And I might have some blackberries with my sushi as well. Can I just tell you guys how happy I am that it is 80 degrees in Florida? <laughs> what has happened? Uh, I'm so happy actually that after we eat lunch, I was thinking about ending the vlog here. And then I was like, ooh, but if we go on a walk, it might be fun to take you guys with us. So I might get some like walkie footage. If I don't, then that means we were absolutely exhausted, tired by the time we did all the chores and cleaning out of the garage and the bedroom. It just depends on how we do on time. But this kind of weather, it makes me want to go on a nice walk because it's just beautiful. Grocery 
groceries and everything are put away. And then I also want to show you guys a couple of the things that we picked up from the bookstore, number one, and from, was it Spirit Halloween? Yes. No, we can't show them Spirit Halloween. Huh? Well, we can show them some stuff. No, you don't want to? We'll wait till that, you know what? Larry's probably right. Sorry guys, but we're gonna be decorating the house. My mom is coming over this week on Wednesday and we are gonna be decorating. So with that being said, perhaps I will save the Halloween everything for that video. And then there is gonna be some stuff that you won't see until like actual Halloween. But there will be a decorating the house video coming soon. We can show them some of the stuff then. Uh, maybe. Larry says maybe. What is happening? Why isn't this focusing? This camera is testing my patience today. It's not focusing. Sushi time. I just rinsed all of the berries and plopped them in this bowl. Mmm. A little sour only because I haven't eaten anything, so. Oh my. Wait, the we eat? Yeah, we ate. What did I have? Oh, I have pizza for breakfast. Pizza. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've said in this vlog, the last vlog that I uploaded, I told you guys we were working on this puzzle here. These are the Disney Thomas Kincaid puzzles. I will link them down below. But we finished Mickey and now we're working on Winnie the Pooh. And we did this one a while ago, but then we'll only have that one left, which we are gonna do when my mom comes, but I don't really think we'll have time if we're decorating the house. But yeah, so this is where we're at so far. Border is done and We've started. Oh, sneak peek at all of the Halloween decor that's in the house right now. This was all in the garage, but because Larry's cleaning out the garage to make room for the new air conditioning unit to come in, we figured we would just leave all the Halloween and fall decor out here and not, you know. So anyways, it's getting ready, ready to go. I'm gonna show you guys the progress on the closet. How much progress did you make in the garage? I'm almost there. Almost there? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the closet. Hi, Lexi! <laughs> Here it is! It looks like we're moving. I don't know why the carpet looks so yellow. It is not yellow <laughs> or gold or whatever color it's showing. It's like, what yeah. color? Tan, like a light tan. It has stains on it and stuff though, um, cause it's been here forever since the house was built, but yeah, this is what the closet looks like now. <laughs> and then I just need to take these clothes out. I go. And then Larry's shoe rack, but yeah, look how empty it is. Kinda like it, very nice. What's not so nice is this disaster. <laughs> this is not nice. It is now like 7, 20, 7.25. I was gonna film me taking stuff out of the closet and talking to you guys, but I've had, I've been on the phone with my family for a while back and forth. So we're dealing with some stuff. But, um, so basically I stopped filming until right now and realized I needed to end this vlog. But before I do, I wanna show you a couple of things that we picked up at Books A Million. You guys did see this. So I am gonna start reading it, which is the perfect book, I think, to read during fall and Halloween. So I'm very excited. It's quite thick. When Edward Cullen and Bella Swan met in Twilight, an iconic love story was born. But until now, fans have only heard Bella's side of the story. At last, readers can experience Edward's version in the long-awaited companion novel, Midnight Sun. So, we are getting to hear Edward's story. Very excited. And then, I have already, um, we've started our Christmas shopping. So, I picked up this for my grandpa and it's called Great Breakthroughs in Physics. So I picked that up. And then I got my 2020 calendar, which actually starts, our 2021 calendar, but it starts in August of 2020. But how beautiful is it? It just reminded me of fall and it's really pretty. So I write everything in my calendars. I need to write it down to stay organized. So 
cheers to that. And then because tis the season for Halloween, I grabbed this book and this is the ghost stories. It's the supernatural ghost stories by, I don't know who it's by. I don't know. Ghost, ghost stories, the dead linger in our world before passing over, tormenting those who disturb the rest. I read that wrong. <laughs> the dead linger in our world before passing over, tormenting those who disturb their rest. From startling visions to dreadful phantoms, these supernatural beings are a warning of what might be to come for all of us. This collection features tales from some of the genre's greatest writers. But anyways, we have chilling ghost stories. And then pop of mug color for my mom. This would be a great stocking stuffer. And I'm sure you guys are gonna love this as well. So it's basically a kitty mug and it's ceramic. It's very awesome and I love it. And it has all these cat faces on it and inside it's a dark color. So those are called the pop of color mugs. And I would be lying if I didn't say I got one for myself as well. So I'm sure you guys are gonna be seeing that soon. They were really cute, I couldn't pass them up. So I got one for each of us. And I got this, because my grandpa is a coffee drinker. Chi, chi, chi for Chuck. <laughs> C for Chuck or Charles. So I got this for Gramps. Thought he would like that. So yeah, Christmas shopping has begun apparently. And I think I am gonna end this video here. Larry and I are making food in the oven and then we're just gonna watch a movie and relax and be cozy. We need cozy time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.